Hi, my name is Bennett and I'm with Noria. I'm here to tell you about the purpose of color in grease. Now one thing that must be understood first is that grease manufacturers use colorants primarily to facilitate in the identification of one type of grease over another for their own products. A secondary objective is to simply make them a little more appealing rather than the typical browns or blacks. In terms of grease quality though, grease may darken due to harsh operating or environmental conditions. This may be a sign that grease has reached or is approaching its condemning limit, at which time a logical assessment should be made to establish the optimum course of action, whether it's a purge regrease, a change in the future regrease frequency, or a better control of the external conditions such as heat, dirt, and water. The truth is, cross-contamination of different types of grease is a real concern that is often overlooked. For the end user, it is very useful to be able to quickly identify a type of grease by its color. Whether it's a dollop of grease on the tip of a zerk fitting, or the visible grease purged out at the end of a grease gun coupling. The reference of these two visual checks is habitually used in practice to determine if there is a potential for cross-contamination. But remember, while the color of grease may have the ability to provide quality information, it is merely intended as a branding technique to identify the type of grease. The, typically, the grease thickener type will be the determining factor. However, even among a single grease manufacturer or among multiple grease manufacturers, no single grease color is guaranteed to indicate any specific type of grease. So for more information on how to protect your machines from the potentials of grease cross-contamination, please visit machinerylubrication.com. By doing this, you will be taking the next step in achieving lubrication excellence at your plants.